Hey guys, Razor2179 here, and today I'm back with a redstone tutorial of my 3x3 spiral piston door. Now today, um, we're taking a bit of a break from the uh, redstone tutorials on the house in a room, just because I want to bring you this, because I think this design is really cool. So, what we have here is just a normal 3x3 piston door, but the special part is when we open and close it. If we open it, it spirals out in a cool animation that looks pretty smooth for the most part. Um, and basically it's just a 3x3 three three door that looks really, really fancy. So that's all there is to this one. So I'm going to go ahead and strip this back to its bare minimums and show you guys the wiring. Alright guys, I am back and here's the machine fully stripped down to its bare minimums. It is pretty small. It's only 3 wide and it's 7 long, 8 tall. Uh, the input right here, this red right here that you see, um, that's just if you want to use a button. This machine takes a lever input, but if you want to do a button, you have to implement a T flip flop just so you can change it. But here's the opening, and there's the closing. Alright, so let's get into building this. Materials you are need, it, you are need. Um, the materials you will need are in this chest right here, and I will give you the exact numbers as soon as I exit the chest. Um, but You'll need a block of redstone if you want to change it to a button input, so just keep that in mind. Also, uh, today we have our wools, to, and red wool will obviously be the input, blue will be the left side circuit, orange will be the right side circuit, lime will be the double extension circuit, and light blue will be the double retraction circuit. So, that's all the items we need, and on your screen right now you should see the exact numbers for all of these items that you will need. So, it's a big long list, but, you know... It's what the door needs. So, what we're going to start out by doing is get ourselves a 3x7 area, that's, and we should have space 8 tall to build this to. So, first, let's lay out the pistons. Um, we're going to need to find the middle right here. Two blocks facing upwards, just like that. On top of those, we have the floor, just like that, like a T-shape. And then from there, it's pretty obvious where the frame goes. I'll just build it out like this. Okay, now from here we need to lay out all the pistons we're going to need. So, um, to the side right here, we need to build a piston right like that. Then on both sides, we need two sticky pistons pushing inwards. So, just go ahead and place those down like that. Then, um, on top of this left side, we have a piston facing upwards. You'll see what that's for later. Then on top, we have the three pistons facing down, as always. And then, just the last little piston that we need to add in, one down here, facing and merge just like that. So this is your piston layout for the front. Now, just to make things less complicated, I want to remove the floor, because in the beginning it gets really messy um, if we left the floor. And so just take out the floor for now. Um, Alright, so let's get into building this. Um, let's first pull out the red wool and the lime wool, because we're going to need those. Um, alright, so first give this sticky piston right here on the bottom a lime wool to pull to hold, and then below that red wool, because that's where your input is. Um grab a lever. I don't have a lever. Let me get one. Get a lever. Okay, now I'm gonna put this lever right on there and just for now power it on. Alright, so now what we need to do is you need to just place a torch, it should turn off. Place a torch here, that piston will mess up just break it and replace it to bring it back down. Um, then what we need to do is put a block on top of the torch right there. Um, rest on torch to the side of that. This green wool piston should extend. Block on top of that torch. Torch on top of the block. Uh, just replace it. And torch here, just replace it once more. Okay, now, there's a bunch of torches here. So to recap, we have the input block with a torch on the side and on the back. Blocks on, um, block on top of here. Then to the side we have a torch which should extend this piston here. Then a torch on top and to the right of this block right here. So, that is the double extension circuit. I think it should work. Uh, let's try it out. So just put in your floor blocks real quick and flick the lever. It should double extend and that block should come out from the side. And then flick it again and we don't have the retraction. So we're going to have to add that in. Um, we're done with the lime wool for now so we can get rid of that. I'll just keep the red wool for something later. Okay, so light blue wool is going to be our double retraction. Now what we need to do first is um, we need to add in a dropper. So 
right to the left of this torch, we need to put a block and then put a dropper next to it, facing that way. Dropper will be powered. Just flip the lever on, or upwards, I should say. Don't worry about that up there. Um, then what we need is for the hopper to go back into there. So from here, what needs to happen is we need to put a block in front of this hopper and put a comparator on it facing outwards. Um, and inside the dropper, we need to put in a wooden sword. I'll tell you why a wooden sword after we're done with this circuit. Uh, so then we need to build a block in front of it and a block to the side. Put a redstone on there. We don't want this redstone to be a dot, though. So we have to build a block like this and put a button to pull the redstone over so it becomes a line instead of a dot. Um, then we need a light blue wool again and put redstone in front of here. This will go over to the button, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Um, then we're gonna in front of here, we're going to put a fist in facing upwards. Block on top. To the side of that, we have a repeater coming out of it facing this way on one tick. Redstone in front of that repeater, building up in this direction. Um, it goes into a block. Now this block is you're going to be your floor block, but it's still an important part of the circuit, so keep it there. Um, then below it, we're going to have a repeater coming out of this block on three ticks, just like that. So now back to over here where I'm explaining this. So what happens is, uh, I'm going to break that for a sec just for demonstrating. Uh, what happens is when this dispenser becomes dropper, I mean, becomes powered, it puts the wooden sword into the hopper. The comparator detects that there's an item in the hopper and powers everything here. Now, this redstone is two blocks two blocks long. Um, now, if we were to put a different item in, like a button, for example, the comparator would power. It would just only power one block of redstone. The reason this is, is the comparator determines how much pulse it's going to give out by the data value of the block that it's detecting. So since it's detecting the button, finds the data value of the button, and the data value of the button is high enough to give you a one block output pulse. But the, for example, the data value of a wooden sword is large enough to make it all the way over to this piston, and that's what we need. So I'm sure other items would work too, uh, but most of them won't. So just for safety, just go ahead and put in a wooden sword into the dropper, not the hopper. Just like that. Okay. So that is the double retraction circuit done. So now if we flick our lever, uh, hold on, <sighs> gotta put this back down here first. All right, add in that redstone again and flick the lever. We get our double extension, flick it again. We get a double retraction, perfectly fine. All right, so now we are moving on. Uh, I can drop out some stuff here. Um, okay, there we go. All right, so. Now what we're going to need to do is come by this torch right here, this uh, torch on the green wool. Sticky piston right next to it facing upwards. Put a cauldron on top of that sticky piston and fill it with water. This is where it starts to get weird. Now put a slab that's level with the cauldron right next to it. Compare it on top of that. So basically what this is is... Um, when this piston extends, the comparator will detect that the water that there's water inside the cauldron. And the cauldron doesn't have to be full, I don't think, but it has to have water in it in order for it to power this piston, which also has a cauldron on top, fill it up with water, and we're doing the same thing again, except this time we're not using a slab. Um, and then comparator facing that way. That comparator is going to be going into a block, and then to the side of that block we have redstone. Now this is going to be a roof here, so just build that out real quick, just like that. Then we want redstone, 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 repeater, repeater. One tick for both of those. Uh, we're done with this, we're done with this, and we're done with that. I'm gonna grab a couple more things out here. Um, alright, so, now, in front of this repeater, orange wool like that. To the side, we have a repeater on one tick, going into a block, and below that block we have redstone. Now, this is your wall block, once again, so be careful of that. Out this way, we have a slab with redstone, and the reason it's a slab, we don't want to power this piston below it here. Then, coming out this way one more time, orange wool torch on the back of that wall and on the back of that block and then below this torch we have redstone like that and then redstone here just replace it again so the block doesn't come out like that but yeah that's the whole circuit completely done so now if we flick our lever we see that it closes in a nice spiral animation and opening does the same so yeah now I'm going to show you guys um, how to make it into a button. So if you don't want to, if you're fine with the lever, you can stop watching now because the rest of the video is just going to be me telling you how to change it into a button. 
And I don't know about most people, but I prefer their buttons, to be honest. So first, just break the lever. The um, door should be closed at this point. Then on each side, we're going to build out three. So one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just make a frame that goes all the way around. That's three blocks out for both sides. One, two, three. 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 And for this side, you're going to punch out that block right there. I'm just going to make it red so you know which button it is, which block it is, I mean, and put red, uh, put a button on that right there. Okay, now come over to the other side, and we're going to do the same thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Et cetera, et cetera. Coming all the way out here. All right, there we go. And then for this side, we have to do it on the very edge because if we did it here, it would interfere with this redstone. So we have to do it on the very edge. Um, so put a button on that, and now we can build in the circuit. So behind this bu behind the button, we have a repeater coming out of it on one tick. That goes into a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top. Now we're gonna do this for both sides. So block here, repeater coming out of it, sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top. Now for this one over here, block in front of that piston, redstone on it going down like this just like that and then from over here we're just gonna connect it like that and then from this block that's dipping down here we're gonna go down one more time this time we're gonna go down one more time again but we're going to the right this time then one more block out this block has a repeater on it right in front of that repeater we've got a sticky piston facing the same direction redstone block in front of it then one block in front of that redstone block, as if it were extended, we're going to put a redstone there, redstone there, and redstone going into the input block. So now, whenever we push this, it's a T flip-flop circuit, so that redstone block becomes extended, and it's almost like a lever, basically. And then, over here, same thing happens. So there we go. That is the whole circuit done. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this spiral design. I obviously, this is one of my favorite redstone designs because of the spiral. It's just so cool to me. I could push that button for hours on end and just watch it spiral in and out, back and forth. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, a uh, rating would be... Whoa, there goes my redstone. <laughs> Uh, if you did enjoy this video, uh, rating will be much appreciated. And if you really like the channel, why not subscribe? Also, comment down below if you have questions. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. So thanks for watching, and I will see you later.